Hi, so in video 1584 we made this thing, and I'll put a link to how we made it at the end of this video. Now, I describe this as an air motor. It's a motor because it's a prime mover. What that means is we input an energy source, in our case here was the wind, and it turns it into a movement that is controllable and usable by us, and it's the initial impulse of that, which is why we call it a prime mover. All motors operate like that. They take an external energy source and they turn it into a controlled motion, the first controlled motion that we can then use. Now, we stopped with this just being a motor, so what I'm going to do now is turn it into a generator. In order to turn it into a generator, I have to take that motion and do something else with it. So what I've done is I've got this. Remember, it's the three millimeter bar, and on the top of it, I've stuck a magnet. If I drop that into my motor and put on some kind of input energy, then obviously that will spin. Now, if I put a coil next to that, then what we've got is a generator. We tend to think of the generator as being the whole thing, but it isn't. It's made up of parts. We have an input energy source and some description. We have a prime mover as a motor, and then the motor drives the actual generation. Now, our generation here is electromagnetic induction. We change the magnetic field to the coil that drives a current. So this section here is the actual generator bit of it. This section here is the motor. And then, of course, we put wind on it. So I'm just going to connect all those bits up together. Okay, so meters and water don't mix very well, especially when they're expensive meters like this one. What I wanted to show you that a prime mover can take its energy source from anywhere. We've done this with wind, but we also just did it with water. The usual thing is that the prime mover is specially designed for the source of energy. Now, in our case, we can use lots of different things. We don't get particularly brilliant efficiency, but it's okay, it'll do it. And it's showing that the energy we get from the water, the energy we get from the wind, is harnessed by the prime mover and changed into a motion that we can use. In this case, it rotates. And because it's rotating, we can stick a magnet on there with north, south, north, south, and then a coil right against it. And having those two together makes the generation section. And if I put the hairdryer back on it, we can see it generates something. And it can do 0.3 of a volt, 0.4 of a volt, no trouble at all, despite the fact it's a very weak magnet. So the whole point of this, remember, is that this is a motor that can run on many sources. It can run on wind, it can run on water. If we want to make it work better, then we have to change it a little bit to capture the energy source that we happen to be using, which is why Pelton wheels work better with water. Or we use blades in order to... Um, collect the wind energy. But that section of it is essentially a motor. We then transfer that captured motion to the generator section that we then generate from. But I thought I would labour that point and show you this little device here can actually run on water as well as wind, which I thought was an interesting idea. I hope you did too. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.